Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. In today's tool review, I have a smart digital multimeter brought to you by Kai Wheats. It's the KM601. You can see the model number there, and I will put a link in the description for this on Amazon. Uh, I'm also going to mark that this is a paid promotion, even though I'm not sure if I need to or not, but the language on that is so hard to understand whether you should or not, so I'm just going to. But the reason why I'm doing that is because this product was sent to me for free. I did not pay for this but they asked me just for my honest opinion they didn't even ask me to necessarily do a video about the product but i thought if i'm going to share my opinion with them i might as well share it with you as well and the only reason why i decided to get this because i've had several people contacting me asking me to maybe look at their products and see what i think about them but this one was actually already in my amazon wish list uh, it's a smart digital multimeter it's got some features on it that I thought would be useful to me. So I had kind of been watching it. They also have one that's a little bit smaller than this one. I had it in there as well. So when they sent me asking me if I would give them my opinion on it, I was like, sure, because I, I actually said it's kind of funny. I had already been thinking about getting your product anyways. So again, in the future, just so you guys know, and if you watch my channel, if you subscribe to the channel, if I'm doing a product that someone sends me it's only because it was something that i would actually use because i do facilities maintenance and that's a broad range of things from construction to electrical to hvac plumbing all sorts of things and if i don't use it in that then i'm probably not going to uh, get that product in and review it because to me if you're subscribing to this channel it's because you know that that's what i do and that's the kind of stuff that you want to watch but again, I think that this meter will be useful to some people. It's use, it's going to be useful to me. So even if you're a person who has meters, I mean, I've got three flute meters right here in front of me. This is one of my original ones that I've had for probably 20 years, the 77. I've got this one for primarily electrical work. And then this is my bread and butter that I carry with me all the time, the flute 324. Uh, it does everything pretty much that I need it to. And this does many of the same things as that minus the clamp i don't have the clamp on this and that's why that will probably continue to be my go-to but the price point on this is forty dollars it's forty seven dollars but then right now they have a <clears throat> seven dollar coupon uh, so you're getting it for forty dollars as long as that coupon's available compared to you know two hundred dollars so maybe you're getting into the trades and you need a meter to use and you don't have the money right now to go buy you a $200 field piece or a $200 fluke. Or maybe you already even have those things, but there's some things on this that I'm going to show you that I think would be useful and you might get something out of. So I'm going to go over the things I like about it and the things that I don't like about it or the things that they could improve on and make this better. But as you open up the case, you get this case that's basically very similar to, you know, a, a sunglass type case that they give you or an eyeglass case. It's kind of that soft hard feel uh, it's got their logo on it you also get a, a set of test leads that come inside of it and these are actually fairly decent leads so that's going to go into my light category uh, they have a nice feel to them uh, they are actually probably better than the stock ones that come with the fluke multimeters uh, they also have the tips that are showing there so if you need to get into some place that's you need to make sure you don't touch something except for what you want to. You have that option. And then these come off uh, so that you can get into a receptacle or whatever it might be that you need to. But these are fairly decent leads to me for a $40 meter. You also get two sets of batteries. I already have one set inside the meter itself and the temperature probe. So again, you're getting a case, a meter, two sets of batteries, decent test leads a temperature probe for forty dollars and and it has a lot of functions and a lot of capabilities in it that i think are going to be very useful so again going down my likes one of those is that it comes with a quality test lead and i think that that's a great thing so another like is the size to me it basically feels like a smartphone with an otter box case on it maybe some of you out there have had that you've got an iphone and you've got an otter box around it so it has this bumper case that fits around the outside gives you a good grip uh, but it, it's essentially the size of a cell phone so the size of it is nice it's not overly bulky it has a good you can get a good grip on it but then it's the size of this screen as well i mean look at that screen and it's color screen it's really clear, it's extremely large, it's very visible. 
Uh, this is the whole reason why I've actually had it in my wish list was because of whenever I'm doing this, whenever I'm filming. So let's say I'm filming my work orders. Uh, example would be in that microwave work order that I did not too long ago. If you go back and watch that, I'm having to continually hit my brightness button on my fluke or I have to hold a flashlight so that I hope that you can see those numbers. Well, I won't have to do that with this. So this is going to be useful for me because of that. But it's useful even if you're not filming, if you're working and you have eyesight that isn't what it used to be, or it's just a whole lot better looking screen anyways than what you typically will find on most multimeters. So this is the main reason why I had it in my wish list, and it's one of my definite likes, is it's a beautiful screen. It looks nice. Uh, it's very easily visible in low light conditions. You don't have to sit there and hit brightness buttons and all sorts of things like that. So that's a big plus for me. Another thing I like is that it takes AAA batteries. That seems like it's, you know, a small thing to, to like and think, well, that's what a big deal that is. But I always carry AAA batteries with me. I always carry a nine volt as a backup, but it's just still the fact that these are so much more easily attainable on job sites and things like that. So if for some reason I need to change out the batteries these are always close by so i do like the fact that it just takes AAA batteries and not some kind of a special battery i think that that's another useful feature as well another like for me with this meter is that it takes standard test leads the ones that come with it like i said are fairly decent but if you're like me and you've got another brand of meters that take these standard connections you've probably bought alligator clips you've probably bought you know longer probes whatever it might be and you want to be able to use those when you use this meter well you can because my favorite leads are these twist guard silicone ones from fluke uh, so these also work with this meter as well you can still use these with those so now anything that i have that are fluke i can also put those in those meet this meter if i need that attachment to be able to work on whatever it is that i'm working on so that's a light for me the fact that it takes standard type lead connections because sometimes when you get into the range that this meter is in you get meters where they only take the leads that come with it and that's it so that's a that's a definite like for me so another thing that i like about this meter is that it has a flashlight option it has a button here on the side and a flashlight on the back that you can turn on and off it's not extremely bright it's definitely not going to be the equivalent to you using one of your flashlights and you might think well i probably wouldn't use that that much if it's not that bright but to have the option of holding a flashlight in your other hand is not really feasible when you're holding your test leads. And it's actually, even though it's not that bright, it could be useful if you're in a low lit area where the electricity's off and you're trying to work into in a panel. You can just press that button, turn that on, and be able to see enough to be able to test your equipment that you need to. So I think that that's a feature that, even though it's not that bright, I still like it. Another feature that I like, or someone who hasn't are not familiar with the meter, I think it's a good thing, is as you go through the functions, it lights up and tells you where you need to put your test leads. So on all these at the beginning, no, it's going to tell you to put them here. Well, once you get up into uh, the milliamps and the amps, it's going to show you you need to put your leads here or you need to put them here. Uh, that keeps you from blowing that internal fuse by not having your leads in the correct place in order to test those things. And then at any point in time, you can just press and hold down this button if you're on any function, and it will take you back to this auto mode, which gets me into probably one of the neatest things about this meter and what sets it apart from others is this auto mode function. So what that allows you to do is that this meter is continually checking for voltage, AC and DC, it's checking for resistance and it's checking for continuity all at the same time. And you don't have to press any button. You don't, and you can go from one to the other. You don't have to ever change a dial. You don't have to turn a knob. You don't have to do anything whatsoever to this meter. It is intuitively understanding what it is you're probably checking for and it gives you those measurements. So see, I can go from uh, continuity to DC voltage. You'll see DC 8.1 come up there. I can go over here to AC voltage and I can get 121 volts AC and I can just sit there and continually just go back and forth and it will change and figure out what it is that I'm looking for 
Now, continuity and things like that, it's a little bit slower in this auto mode to get you that range. It's more responsive. If you're not in auto mode, if you go directly to AC and you put it in, it's going to be uh, a little bit faster. Continuity be a little bit faster, but I'm talking split seconds. It's not like it's an exorbitant amount of time, and it's definitely not the amount of time that it would take you to turn those knobs and to do those things. So even though you might think, well, it takes a little bit longer to get a response, it's definitely faster than switching modes on your other meters. So I think, again, this is an extremely useful feature. And to me, as I've used it over the last week or so, uh, it's, it's done it pretty well flawlessly. I've never had it really not work for me and give me an incorrect, it, where it didn't know what I was checking. I, I think that it works well and I think it's a useful feature on this meter. And the last feature that I like as far as to go over on this meter is the non-contact voltage tester. Uh, it's a got a little spot up here that says NCV, and if you take and you pr put that close to voltage, it beeps and lets you know that you do have live voltage going through that right there. And again, it, you probably are going to carry one of these with you, but what if you're just working in some spot and you don't have this in your hand and you're already checking things with your leads and you just want to know i wonder if that's got voltage on it well you can stick it over there and check it without having to go in and out of your bag or in and out of your pocket to get your other equipment and again it may not be a feature that you use all the time you're probably going to use your other one instead but it's nice to have it on there what does it hurt for it to be there so those are the things that i like about this meter i like the fact that it's a it's a nice size the screen is extremely bright, is to me one of the biggest pluses for it. It also has this auto power on and off uh, feature, so you have that option to be able to do that. It takes AAA batteries. I can use my other leads with it. It seems to be pretty accurate. I'm not going to do a bunch of crazy testing. I mean, it, it's as far as I've used it, it's, it's good enough for me and what I do. I just need to know if I've got voltage, what kind of amps that I've got, do I have continuity, all those things, I don't have any kind of calibration equipment. So even if I tested this and gave you a number of this compared to my fluke, who's to say my fluke's not wrong and this one's not right. So, but it's been telling me what I need to know. And that's all that matters whenever it comes to this. Uh, I like the flashlight. Uh, I think that it's a decent feature. And again, it may not be extremely useful, but it's better than nothing. I like the case that it comes with. And again, the fact that you get temperature probes batteries a case a protective cover all those things for forty dollars i think it's an extremely useful meter and the fact that it also tells you where to put your leads when you get into certain functions to save you that blown fuse and the damage that could happen to your meter so those are the things that i like about this and that the reasons why i think it could be useful but now let's talk about the things that i, I would like to see improved or that i don't like about it altogether so one of the things that i don't like about it is that it's always in Celsius temperature on your screen. It doesn't matter what function you go to. And again, that's gonna be a good feature for some of you. So it's that might be particular to me, but that's not the you know temperature range that I normally look at. So then I gotta do some kind of conversion or something like that. It is a nice feature that you've got the ambient temperature without your temperature probes in, because if I put my fluke meter on temperature without a probe in, it just says open. I don't know what the ambient temperature is. So maybe I'm somewhere and I need to know what the ambient temperature is outside. This will give you that reading and I can go over to the temperature setting and then I get both Fahrenheit and Celsius. So yeah, it's a little bit warm in my garage today, as you can see. I just wish that there was a way to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit as far as for your main selection. Go back and forth. If that was an option, that would be a good thing because this number doesn't do me a whole lot of good without doing some you know math in my head and i really don't want to do that all the time so i would almost rather not have that even on that screen and just only have have it on the temperature screen to where i can look at both of them at the same time because that's probably just a number that i don't need to be looking at whenever i'm trying to get some kind of a measurement from something else so one of the things that i don't like is the fact that the Celsius is always showing on the screen at all times. Second thing that I, I would like to see improved on it is just something like a, a kickstand on it would have been nice. Uh, even though really with it laying flat, this meter you're gonna be able to see better than any of the other meters. So that's again gonna be a plus for this meter is like I can I can see what these numbers are 
in a lot of different positions, no matter how I have it positioned versus when some of my other meters, I have to be looking at it, you know, dead straight to be able to get those measurements. But it would be nice if you had a kickstand or something just so that you can prop it up. Or I'm probably, what I'm going to do as well is I'm probably going to glue some magnets or something to the back of this case so that I can stick it on the side of things. Because normally, like with my clamp meter, I'll use that clamp to hook onto something whenever I'm testing something. Even though it doesn't have, you know, a kickstand or something like that, I, I have the ability to be able to hook it onto something. And then other meters, you know, I have, I, I might use a magnet or whatever it might be. That would just be something that I would ask for. And, and, and again, it's just kind of a, a nitpicky thing, but it'd be nice if it was added to it as far as for my opinion of ways that you could improve this product. Here's one of the things that I think is a little bit lacking in it, but I have noticed this in a lot of meters in a lower price range in comparison to something like a fluke or something like that. So again, you can see how much easier that is to see than this. And then I have to hit my brightness button. And even then it's still hard for you to maybe see that number. But I want you to look as I check capacitance on this capacitor. If I go from common to fan, I get 5.1. See how fast that that was? I can take that off. 5.1, it's, it's nearly instant. I can go over and get the other measurement, 40.2, 5.1, 40 40.2, split second on that one. Well, as I was checking out this meter and I put it on capacitance and was checking uh, to see how well it worked, you'll notice, I, I'm, let me take it off and I'm gonna tell you when I stick it on. So it should be on now. I, I was thinking that it wasn't working for the longest time. It just takes a significant amount of time in order to check capacitance. So now if I take it off, again, I'll, I'm going on now. We'll check the other, should be around 40. So the accuracy of it is good, but it takes a while to be able to give you that measurement. Again, though, I have noticed this with other multimeters that I have purchased that have been kind of in the cheaper range. Uh, so I don't know if, what the reason is behind that, but then you gotta ask yourself, as long as it's giving me accurate results and I know that it's gonna take, you know, four plus seconds to be able to get my measurement, then it's not a big deal to know that. But whenever I first started using this, I thought, well, it, it, it's not even checking this. It's not even working correctly. And I finally just left it on there long enough that I got that measurement. And now that I know that, I just know I've gotta hold it on there longer. So again, it's a $40 meter versus a $200 meter. So it just depends on if, it's worth, you know, three to four times as much for you to gain that four seconds or so each time that you check that. So you can get the results, but it does take a significant amount of time longer. So that's one of the things that I don't like about it or that they could improve upon that and make that be faster if possible. Another thing that's kind of like a dislike is that in daylight conditions outside, as you can see, and it looks better uh, in person than what it's showing through my phone camera, but it is obviously going to be harder to see this display than what it would be if you're working inside. So if you only work outside, maybe on HVAC units and things like that, again, it's probably as good a display maybe as even still to your other one, but don't expect to have as good of a quality or a look to the screen outside in daylight as what you do inside under just interior lighting conditions. Another thing that I don't necessarily like, or it's a nitpicky thing for me, and it's very similar to that of this temperature range, is I'm in auto mode in the next selection. If I hit this function mode, goes just to voltage only, to where you're only checking for voltage and not continuity and resistance and all those things at the same time. It starts out in DC mode. Again, that's gonna be a plus for some of you. It's just not for me because I'm typically not going to use DC. So now if I want to go strictly into AC voltage, I've got to hit the function button. Then I got to hit the select button to go to AC. I would like it to wear. And then if you go out of that, you know, if I go to another function and then I go back out of auto and I hit it again, it always goes back to DC. So maybe a way to improve that would be let the person select whichever voltage and then it stays in that unless you hit select again. If that was an option to be able to do that, that would be useful because again, some people, this DC being first is gonna be what you want. Uh, and then for some people, AC is gonna be what you want. Same thing with Celsius and Fahrenheit. Just give people the option to make a selection 
to be able to set it to what would be most useful to them just to save them from going through the process every time to get to whatever it is that they're looking for. So that's another thing that to me that could be improved upon with this meter. And then the last thing is this auto power on and off. So you can select it to where it will power off within 15 minutes if the power, if you don't touch it or you don't do anything like that. And I've tested that and that works. But with this button being over here on the side, you can turn that on and off. I can see that easily getting, you know, just bumped. And then you're going to run your batteries down. So I think that that's, uh, I'd just as soon have it to where it auto powers off after a certain amount of time, no matter what. I would, I, I've never known of a time where I've been testing something and a 15 minute time window is going to go out in the middle of me testing it. Uh, and it goes off with with no use. You know, I'm never not using it within that 15 minutes. So I don't know that I would prefer to just not have a button like that and just have that feature just be built into it. So again, that's the Kai Wheats KM601 and what I like about it and what I don't. Uh, again, there's many settings on this. You've got non-contact voltage, you've got voltage, resistance, continuity, diode testing, capacitance, millivolts, hertz, temperature, non-contact voltage tester, milliamps, amps, all those features with a beautiful screen, well lit, uh, decent test leads, temperature probe, a case for $40, uh, I think it's a great buy, uh, especially if you're you're just looking for a, a meter at a good price, it's a good product, I think that you'd be happy with this one. Again, it's got some downsides, but most of those are just nitpicky to me. You know, it still gives me Celsius and it gives me DC voltage. I just would prefer it comes in a different order. But again, that's just for me. May not be for everybody. I would like to see them add some kind of a way for me to uh, either put a magnet on this or a kickstand or something like that. And other than that, I think it's a great meter. I would recommend it if you've been looking into it. Uh, and again, like I said, for the value of it, I think you're getting a good meter for the price. So is it going to replace my Fluke 324 in my bag? Absolutely not, but it's going to have its uses. Uh, you guys are probably going to see it more often than anybody because, like I said, I think this is extremely useful for me to use in filming because obviously this is a lot easier to see than this, and especially in low-lit conditions because even though this has backlight, it's not really all that bright. It only helps in extreme darkness. But this is over $200 uh, versus this one's 40 bucks. You're getting a lot of the same features, a beautiful display, all the things that go along with that. So again, I think it's a good buy. Uh, I, I'd be happy to pay $40 for this and wouldn't think twice about it. So again, that's just my take on it. It's kind of my first impressions as I use this tool over the course of time. If something happens that uh, it just totally fails on me or something like that. Always check the top comment of any kind of tool review. If I have a problem with something that I thought was a good uh, tool to start with, or even if I say that it's a bad tool and it turns out to be good later, I will always pin a top comment. So check that out. If you're watching this video later on after I posted it, uh, maybe something's changed before you make the purchase. Just make sure I haven't commented about it to get the most information you can to make the right choice. But hope all is well. Hope this was useful. You guys have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.